Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Gold, my baby run. It's time to make our way down to the power plant. And sadly, this isn't Crystal, where I can basically avoid everybody. We're going to have to go through quite a few battles, unfortunately. Not much I can really do about it. It's just, you know, annoying. I'd rather not have to deal with a bunch of trainers, you know, if I don't have to. And since you can't fly back and forth to and from the power plant, we're going to have to cycle our way down here again. Which is pretty bloody annoying, to be honest. Well, that takes care of Nidorina, at least. That's that's one down. Then after that, we can move on to the next one and finish up this trainer battle. But we still got, like, three more trainers to go through. No, I'll, I'll take on Raichu. It's one chew short of victory, I'm afraid. <sighs> It really doesn't live up to the lightning ant's name, you know? Raichu's just not quick enough. I mean, for a fast electric type, it's really slow. Oh, might as well cut off in front of him. You did, huh? The more you challenge me to a battle, what's that got to do with exploring a cave? And you're a dean? An academy dean? That's just weird, man. What sort of school dean spends his time doing Pokemon battles out in the middle of nowhere? Looking for a cave? I have no idea. Okay. Sand Slash, huh? Well, there's no reason to switch, then. This thing's one Ice Punch away from defeat. Yep, called it. I mean, with the level difference, yeah, it's pretty much guaranteed. Almost any super effective attack would have been enough to take it out. Heck, I probably could have dropped it with Psychic and Stab. <sighs> First, now I gotta worry about evolution. Oh, no you don't. Bad Smoochum. Very bad. <sighs> Oh, she'll be coming around Mount Silver when she comes. She'll be coming around Mount Silver when she comes. She'll be riding Ponyta when she comes around that mountain. Okay, now I just lost the lyrics, okay? I admit, it's been a long time since I've actually sung that song. I'd have to go look up the lyrics if I want to modify them into a Pokemon parody. It wouldn't even be that good of a Pokemon parody, probably, anyway. Okay, let's see. It's one down. Two more Gravelers to go. Gosh darn it. Ugh. It's like he exists just to annoy me. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised considering his name. Shares a name with my, um... Middle brother. Who's basically been in his goal in life is just to be as annoying as possible to... Me and the young, youngest sibling, you know? That's just how it goes. Guess it's a good thing I don't have to deal with them that often. <sighs> well, that's one hiker down. And the only hiker I gotta deal with tonight. Good. He wasn't worth dealing with at all. Yeah, I guess you were too busy singing to notice that you were losing. Badly. Um, yeah. Outside of crew picnics, though, like, only, like, one other picnic. Don't go on picnics too often, which, so far, is kind of ironic, because I live with, like, a block from one park and two blocks from another. Three at most. And then there's another park that's, like, five or seven blocks away. Yeah, and then there's, um, a state park that's, like, four or five blocks away as well. There's a lot of parks in my area, that's all I'm saying. I hardly ever go on picnics. I'm like, forget that. If I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat at home. I don't wanna make food and have to carry it somewhere. That's ridiculous. <sighs> well, 
Well, the return trip will be a bit faster, but we still gotta deal with some random encounters. Since I'm pretty sure I don't have any repels. Though, thankfully, we can skip that one guy by just flying back to Cerulean City. Okay. Time to serve. And yeah, I decided to go back to the Charizard hat for this episode. I don't know, I don't like wearing the Pikachu hat that much anymore. The Charizard hat's just so much more comfortable. True story. Um, here we go, a Voltorb, eh? So it's a Pokeball. That just, you know, came alive. That's all a Voltorb is. I'm sure there's more to it in the lore or something, but it's just a living Pokeball as far as I'm concerned. Heck, sometimes they use them in games to trick you into thinking you're getting an item, and they're like, Oh, it's a Voltorb! Or an Electrode, which is even worse, because then it usually blows up in your face. Yeah, you keep daydreaming about zapping the guy with your zap cannon. How about I actually go hunt him down? Because I have to do everything around here, because the cops can't be bothered. <sighs> do you just ask every random Pokemon trainer you come across for their cooperation? Like, seriously. Who does that? <sighs> Well, let's go to the Pokemon Center and deal this Team Rocket goon. Well, as much as we have to, anyway. Oops. I so sorry, you not hurt? Okay. I very busy. No time for talking with you. Not good for me if seen by somebody. Oh no, you seen me already. I make big mistake. Hey you, forget you see me, okay? You see, here, no nothing. Okay, bye kid. Nothing. Bye bye, I go go. You're gonna even offer me a bribe to, to pretend I saw nothing? Like, here, kid, here's here's 50 Poké Dollars, pretend you did not see anything. I mean, sure, I'd probably still get in the way, because, you know, that's what I do, but, you know, at least he could offer me some sort of financial incentive to not even bother with it. <sighs> I don't even know why this is here, besides adding some padding to the post game content. Be like, like here, we didn't forget about Team Rocket. Here's another scene involving Team Rocket, if just only barely. Okay, we're gonna throw in a foreign Team Rocket member, because you know that's something that'd be cool, right? I mean, it hints at the idea of new locations based on France or something, you know? No, oh, whatever. Yeah, I guess we did eventually get a Pokemon area based on France, but still, it's. It's kind of surreal, you know, to have something like him even in this area, because it serves no real purpose, other than just because. <sighs> I mean, there's no reason why they couldn't just include a Poke Flute again. Like, let's have a Poke Flute station, and then make them have to get the power plant set up. My question is, where did Zapdos go? It called the Power Planet's home, after all, and it was a lot more convoluted in the first game. All of a sudden, you get to this one, all of a sudden, the Power Planet's, like, shrunk massively in size. I don't get that at all. Yep, moving on. Uh, yeah, I guess we should set up for Misty. I mean, at the rate we're going, it'll take us about ten and a half minutes to start the battle with Misty. I mean, a bit later than I would like, but no reason to split this off into a second episode yet. It's about with Misty, you know, seven, eight minutes tops at most. Honestly, I'd be surprised if it lasts beyond, like, five. As long as I'm smart about dealing with, you know, Starmie and all that stuff, this sh shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I suppose it would pack a wall up. Of course, Starmie is going to be faster than us, which is annoying. Gosh darn Starmie. It's it's quick enough to be annoying, let's put it that way. Okay. Might take me a bit past the 10 and a half minute mark to get the battle started. Because I gotta go all the way up north and get called a pest first, too. 
Well, that does add on some time. No matter how good a cyclist you become. Because there are a lot of tight corners here. And dealing with tight corners is not my specialty anymore. Of course, what I always love is that guy just runs off as soon as you show up. Like, is he ashamed of Misty? He, why is he so embarrassed to be seen with her? Like, what is it about Misty that's... Like, oh, if I'm seen with Misty, I'm, it's gonna be a problem. Like, is he worried about people challenging him to duels or something over her hand? What is it, okay? I, I want to know. It's just showing up at the couple spot should not just scare someone randomly off, even if they come by themselves. Or as he used to be able to just randomly showing up and be like, You, me, gym battle, now! They just, it's like, as soon as I see something like that, it's like, I'm gone. Like, it's obviously someone here to challenge you again, Misty. Come, come talk to me later. If you don't take them on now, they're gonna spend all day bugging you, you know? And it's just like, it ain't worth it. Okay. Would you stop calling me a pest? It's not my fault you weren't doing your job manning the gym. Or had someone here that could go get you, or schedule a time for me to come back, you know? It's not like any of your flunkies were here. They weren't they aren't even good flunkies, that's the sad part. Well, it's time for a T-bolt! <sighs> but will it be enough? Well, this is on Golduck. Of course that probably means she's gonna follow up with a Quagsire. I mean, that'd be my go-to pick. called it. After all, Quagsire completely nerfs all of um, my major attacks there. I mean, I can't use Fire Punch against it. Ice Punch is middle of the road in terms of its effectiveness, so I might as well go with a Stab Psychic here. I don't know if it'll be enough to finish it off, though. It might just absorb it. Quagsire is a bit bulky, after all. It just lacks the power to make good use of it. Oh, Amnesia? Seriously? You're jacking up your special defenses. I mean, don't get me wrong, it makes sense. I, I'm a special attacker, obviously, but... Unless you're gonna follow that up with a hyper potion or something, I'm just gonna blow right through you. <sighs> well, that was a sloppy call. Okay, let's do this, Jewel. Time for a T-Bolt. Assuming this don't crit, I should hopefully hit back hard enough to finish it off. Okay, survive by the skin of my teeth, but survive I did. And Starmie is down. Okay. And that leaves... Lapras. Yeah, I'll switch. Okay. That's enough. We're staying on the ice switch. Parish song. If I can last even a few turns here. I got this one in the bag. That's all right. Okay, go for a stab psychic move. I suppose trying to go for the kill first would have been better, but this way if Lapras somehow manages to drop Smoochum, um, I'll still manage to win probably. Eh, it came close. Well, it looks like Parish Song's not going to really pay off at all, because it's all tear apart with Psychic, but... You know, I just want to be prepared in case I was pushed off somehow. Well, that does it. Misty is dealt with. Well, that's because I knew what to start out with. Needed some electrical juice here, you know? That always comes in handy when dealing with a water gym. Unless your opponent's got Swampert. 
And it's like, gosh darn, I can't use electric attacks against it. Or Quagsire. You know, that works too. But Swampert's far more threatening in that capacity than um, Quagsire is. It's a little too slow and steady, you know, for its own good. Well, that does it for this episode. Next time, I'm going to be going to Pewter City. And if we do it fast enough, I'll be taking on Brock. Until then, see ya.